And we're back sideboarding after game two of round one of our Scars Block Draft. Losing in game two um, to some flyers. Um, I'm taking out a numbing dose, I think, because it's my worst removal. And it's a little slow, I think. And I put in a uh, second Gus Skimmer. So, yeah, I'm going to say I'm going to play, right? That's good. Maybe I should be on the draw, but I think his deck's pretty fast and aggressive. Um, yeah, it's slow kill, it's not our best. I feel like our curve's a little too high against him. Well, we're sort of oddly positioned against him, because he has some mid-range kind of cards. We have some some mid, some late game cards, maybe a decent mix. Here, I would play the Gus Skimmer first, for sure, to an empty board. So, we'll see. Plenty of land this time. You can have six after you're sure that there's nothing else. Usually I don't make that mistake. Okay. Cool. You're gonna get your swamp now. Your 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 black uh, your double black splash or something. I respect that. Oh, he gets a white. He must have a swamp in his hand. Sweet! Turn, turn, turn three play, baby. That's actually excellent. Yes. I assume I'm getting the spine. Yeah, that's fine. I think... I mean, maybe that's wrong. We'll have Nesta Ghoul. We have plenty of... We have, we have four power on the board already. We don't need more uh, slow fat, right? I don't know. I wish I could res recur the spine. Maybe it's not good to have it. It's been, it seems like it's been alright so far. Okay, you play a 2-2. That's fine. He's so good. I love that aspect of white. It's very interesting. White will deal damage to you. It's like a red card. This could be a, a white red card. But it wouldn't. It would be does two damage, not loses two life. All right, we keep drawing land. This is a five. This is a seven. Oh wait, I don't want to play this. I'd rather get in with the skimmer because who cares about this? All right. So he'll fly, and then treasure mage. I think I'm gonna attack with both actually, because <laughs> he already got me a card. But I don't want him to block the 2-1. If he blocks, that's fine. Yeah, because I couldn't play a blocker that turn. It got me a card and traded with a card that dealt me two already, so... I don't know. I think it, as the defensive deck, it's what I... He has a lot of cards, let's just say that. I love when they run out of cards. It's hard. It's hard when they don't. Ah, well, actually, that's not the worst card that he could... Oh, he does it to that! Yeah, 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 he'll get another card out of it. That's good. He's just getting... He's he's trying to beat me in, like, the value long game right now. So we'll see if that works out. Somehow I don't think it will. And then when it comes in again... I'm going to play Nested Ghoul. Actually, do I want to play Nested Ghoul? I can fly over with the Skimmer. I want to keep doing that. Because honestly, yeah. And then to block his like loser squad, I don't want to play skin render. I don't care. I can't play spine or ghoul this turn. Yeah. Well, no, I can't. Right. I can play skin render, but I don't want to. I think that's actually good. I'm happy with that. It does him damage and makes his attacks bad. He still has to deal with the two flyer. The two one flyer. I hope I beat this guy. I don't know if this is a Swiss or what. It just said Somblock block draft and I paid 15 tickets or 14 tickets. Originally I was going to do original Mirrodin, but it was taking too long to fill up. Um, yeah. Forever. But that would be cool to play. How it compares to this, oh my god. I guess this is better, but and I wasn't really playing. Like I played, but I didn't really know what the fuck was going on. Excuse me, back then. It, 
I think they said Seattle. Mirrored in, they, 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 took, they had some articles on it and just thinking about it. It wasn't that great. It was great at the time, you know, but in hindsight. What's this guy doing? He's taking forever. Yes, uh, I can't have six here, right? Because he just took forever. All right, so now I'm getting I'm getting mad mana, which is pretty sweet. I can make him fly. I could. Oops, cancel. I could attack and then play my nest of ghoul. I like that. That works for me. And the next turn we have spawn. I mean, and who even? What does he even have? <laughs> More land get. Okay. Get all the land in the world. At this point, I'm feeling pretty good. Not that it's locked up or anything, but. Oh, okay. And you get some green, and so you draw a card too. Cool. Getting more land. Oh, swamp. Yeah. So you can now play. I don't know what. Um. Whenever a source deals damage to him, put that on the battlefield. So he'll kill it, and then he'll turn. He'll get some more land, and then he'll. Do I want to skin rend his relic warder so that this can get through? Or force him to pop a sire? Probably. Although I am pressuring him with the skimmer. I'm not using spine. Or should I just send the nested ghoul in anyway? That doesn't that doesn't feel right to me. I think I'm just gonna keep attacking with the skimmer. I don't want to give him even more car like I just I don't know, I feel like this clock is quick enough. Should I even play Cathedral Membrane and like deal damage to myself? I feel like there's no real reason to play Cathedral Membrane. It's one mana, it can't attack. I just don't feel like it. We'll see. We'll see if the board changes, if there's a need for me to do that. I'm trying to play as good as I can for you guys and for me. Alright, so here we have. Right, but I can kill it. I can kill it any number of ways. My kill is like turned on to it. Um, I guess I'd probably rather use... Hmm. Well, I don't know. Would I rather use a skin render or a spine on it? Skin render is... I almost feel like I'd rather use the spine in some weird way. No, but that's stupid, because that can deal with other things. So, I can skin rend it. Yeah, that's better than the implant. It dies. Skin render's so good. Oh my god. You fly. And you attack. I like this. I don't know. I like Gus Skimmer. He's very good. He reminds me of Rooftop White in Ravnica. Except he's an artifact, which is actually a little even better in this set. Yep, play all your land. See, I'm not giving him extra like land advantage. Whenever an artifact is put, you may draw a card. All right, well that's basically a dead card. And now he plays mimic that, which I'm going to destroy. Land. It's probably going to be a land. No. Nope. Hmm. Well, maybe I shouldn't even destroy it because nothing's dying yet. I think I should just. <laughs> It's basically just playing irrelevant cards. Like, he played two cards that... He's flying. He's getting hit. He's just not playing any creatures that are worth anything. And then I'm going to play the Splicer, because his clock even gets more ridiculous. It gets really quick. Like, scary quick. Yeah. So that's just bad for him. 
he's dead in two turns. Instead of four turns, halves the clock. And he's already having problems dealing with this. And I have another couple kill spells. I'm aggroing him with parasitic implants. Then again, I guess if he kills something now, he'll have mimic that up. I suppose I can just always kill it. Later, um, he'll get one use out of it, which would get him a 3-3 golem, which, eh. He's got something. There's the angel. I mean, now, right, now if I kill it, it's tough. What do I do? Do I kill it, or do I kill the, the vat? Hmm, I have eight land now. So I could spine the vat and then, and then wait. Right, no, I, the, the play is spine and give him flying. So if that's the case, then I, then I spine the angel. Right. Oh no, but then he gets, he gets to make it as a blocker anyway. I spine the angel and then, okay, put it under, pop it right out. So I have to wait. Right? Yeah, so I'm just going to play spine. I have to kill the other man bat first. So that's dead. And now I can't attack with these yet. So I'm just going to F6. And then, I mean, I have defense against him. Three, four, right, I actually wouldn't block it. But then he won't, he won't attack. He's just going to leave it there. We'll see. Spending some mana. Probably the 8-mana thing. Yep. 8-8. Eight, eight, straight up. That's a little tough. This is classic magic right now. So, 4. This is not... That's 9-mana total. It's too much. I can play both Serum Raker and Parasitic Implant on the same turn. Which actually is fine. This thing doesn't even have Trample. Uh, but do I actually want that? Because all oh right, no, I do because I can't get in with him anyway. Yeah, so I'm playing Serum Raker and Parasitic Implant on the that guy, and then how did he bounce? Oh, he used the Relic Warder. I don't know. I don't remember. Attacking? No. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. He's at eight. My board, you know, now I have three flyers. He has to attack with the Indomitable, I take it. He just quit! Yeah, that's it. He should have, eh, we'll see. 